What's up, my dudes? My name is Sister Turley, and this is the track review of Blue Quarry MX. So, as you guys can see, it's got a pretty cool, almost Paula kind of look to the track with a light gray dirt vibe going on. So, I love when people go in there and do something a little different than your everyday, ordinary brownie mix dirt kind of look. So, the cool thing about this track is the fact that the on track feels exactly like what it looks like and to me it feels like a really loamy small pebble when you go into a corner really hot your front end starts getting sketchy on you that kind of feeling and that's exactly what it looks like to me so it doesn't have that feeling of a really dry hard pack slick blue groove kind of track but it also doesn't have the feeling of a really good traction brownie mix dirt track it has its own feeling but the thing about it is is it looks exactly like what it feels like and that's such an important thing on a simulator because if you don't have that then you instantly lose the realism and the immersion of the game and i feel like that is one of the most important things to making a custom track and i know i'm always giving you guys custom track tips but i promise i've been through it all i've made upwards of 70 custom tracks and half of them have never even been released because they weren't good enough and that's probably one of the biggest things i've learned if you don't get the feeling of the track right nothing else really matters i mean when you think about it you could have the best looking track prettiest track the funnest jumps the best ruts ever the best skybox the best water doesn't matter if you don't have the feeling of the track good then it instantly ruins the entire track for me anyways it may not for everybody but you just picture it if you have a really fun well-made perfect looking track but it feels like concrete it's totally ruined to me and so that's one of the biggest most important things and it's almost like showing up to a motocross track without your boots or something you know what i mean i know there's a better example than that but the looks of this track is more of a down in a quarry you can see little rocks and pebbles on the track so the feeling of it just matches it perfectly and the other cool thing about it is is when you jump off the track uh, like this right here perfect example uh, when you do that it's more dangerous than it would be on a normal average woodland kind of track and that matches the quarry kind of feeling because the off track is not going to be some standard just flat rolling hills with some trees it's got some crazy elevation crazy up down in a quarry rock faces and different stuff like that but yeah overall pretty well made track bro like everything is not humongous jumps there's a couple of bigger huck it kind of lines but fairly easy overall and the corners are pretty cool because they're not a million ruts in the corners or a ton of roughness so it's got more of an intermediate kind of feeling and you could ride any kind of bike on this track but it just has that awesome Paula kind of feeling. I really wish somebody would go in there and make a Paula track with this exact ground decal and this exact tile map, the way the ground actually feels. But you can see some awesome rollers. You can sort of do like a quad into them and then do another quad into these kind of roller things right here. You got to be careful on them though because that landing is pretty small, bro. When you're jumping 60 feet up in the air and you have a landing that's like two feet off the ground, you got to be pretty precise with those kind of jumps. But like your corners and everything is just standard berms not some kind of wicked like thousand ruts in the corners or anything so it's pretty easy to learn the track and just flow around the track so got some more little whoop rollers going on right here and as far as all the off track stuff pretty well made i mean you can tell you're down in some sort of quarry and it's got that awesome blue aqua blue colored water over there love water on motocross tracks oh, a lot of you guys know that but uh, that's one of my most favorite things ever it can totally make a track come together because just picture this track without the water it would lose a certain feeling would it not am i right or am i right i mean come on now so uh but yeah there's actually a supercross track over there too so i have not even rode on that yet but uh this track just has some pretty unique different elevation angle jumps just how it would be on a quarry type scenario everything just matches it perfectly and the rocks and the the different jump sections and everything it's not like your standard just tabletop here and rollers over here and another tabletop over here like you can see multiple different landings and got this crazy huck it i don't even know what that is like a three four quad five something 69 something i don't know what that is but uh yeah so fun track overall i would say the difficulty is medium and i'm gonna give it a i'm gonna give it a nine overall so anyways thanks for watching the video later dudes